Hello Max Tubers, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to watch a video of Miss Morissette Ammon and Mr. Jedge Vinson performing a Whitney Houston classic, Run to You. They did this performance earlier this year in Cebu. But before anything else, please don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Max underscore 2. Likewise, please subscribe to my channel, click on the notification bell, watch and comment on my videos to get a chance to win prizes. For the full mechanics, I'll be providing you the link above. Check it out. Time for some really quick shout outs. I want to say hello to these wonderful people for showing me a lot of love. Hi to Jake Babatio, Jericho Maravilla, Patricia Ang, Ronwell Limitares, Joel Bautista, and Georgette A. Thank you guys for keeping me going. Hope you enjoyed today's video. To the rest of my Max Tubers out there, if you want a shout out in my next video, please comment down below and let me know. Before we play this video, please allow me to mention that I got this video from Critico Capamilia. So if you want to watch the entire video uninterrupted without my comments, please check out their channel. That said, let's get things started. Let me just start by saying this is going to be uh, the second time I'll be listening to uh, Judge Vinson. The first song I heard from him was his duet with Morissette, Officially Missing You. So if you haven't seen the reaction video I made for that, please check out the link above um, because I'll be making uh, a few comparisons. I know. When you look at me, there's so much that you just don't see. Sounds good. The wind, it won't take the time I know in my heart you are. I like the fact that he is using more of his chest voice here because in um, uh, his Officially Missing You video, he used his falsetto, I think, more than 50 or 60% of the time. So far in this performance, he is still making use of his falsetto, but only when it's needed, which sounds more balanced. Overall, I like the way he sounds. I like how smooth he sounds. Let's continue. I'm feeling this. I like the emotions Judge is giving us in this song. It is a more sincere rendition if you ask me. Because in the other video, um, I felt like he was trying very, very hard to show off his riffs and runs and falsetto more than actually pouring out his emotions. So let's go back to the video and see how he does for the rest of the song. There 
There is a very soft and light quality in his chest voice, which I like very much. And I think he has um, more vocal control in this performance so far. He sounds more stable in general. He is also managing his vibrato better. Because again, in the other video, there were times when he gets a bit pitchy. Nice. Before we continue, I have one slight concern. Run to You is a power ballad, meaning you have to have a certain level of vocal power to be able to give justice to this song. Note that vocal power and vocal range are two different things. Vocal range means hitting the required notes, whether it's high or it's low. Vocal power means being able to give us the intensity required for this song. So I hope Jedge is able to deliver uh, the vocal power necessary for this type of song. Because so far, his voice is sounding very light and floaty. Let's move on. Thousands and thousands of artists have covered this song and I think it is a smart move to make this a duet rather than another solo. Also, I'm happy that Morissette didn't try to sound like Whitney because if I want to listen to Whitney Houston, I would have searched for Whitney Houston. Let's go back. There's Listen to how expressive she delivered her verses, and that's how it should be done. I always believe that singing is another form of speaking. The only difference is that it is accompanied by instruments, with music. When you speak, you are trying to tell me something. Same goes for singing. So, if you are not able to communicate with me, then as far as I'm concerned, you have failed as a singer. So it doesn't matter if you're hitting the notes or not. The most important thing is you are communicating with me. That said, this young lady is definitely not in any way failing. Let's continue. Okay, one critique coming up. This has nothing to do with their voices. But again, I'm reacting to this video entirely, not only um, for their voices. I just hope that they had more interaction with each other on stage, even as they were singing their own respective verses. How do I say this? Um, a duet is supposed to be two people talking to each other, so I feel like it would have been even more effective if from time to time they would look at each other and engage with one another. However, I'm not saying that they should totally neglect the audience because at the end of the day, this is not a musical stage play. All right, so let's continue to watch the video. Ooh. 
at this point, there is no doubt about Morissette nailing this song. We know how well she plays with her voice, how she controls uh, her dynamics. She can go soft and she can go strong. Again, inserting a quick critique. She went slightly off key in that last ad lib, but fortunately, it's not that noticeable. Going back. I think this is quite a challenge for Judge. As great as he sounds overall in this song, I don't think he has enough vocal power to go head to head with the Phoenix. I mean, if he was singing this as a solo, it would be a different story because he would just be competing with his own voice. But as a duet, uh, you need to be able to match the power given by your partner. I just think he needs um, more punch, more punch in his voice. Okay, some of you might be thinking, why am I not criticizing Morissette for giving too much power? Because there are two ways of looking at this, right? Some of you might say she should have just toned down a bit to match the level of power Judge is giving. But my answer is pretty simple. This is the climax of the song. You are supposed to give your highest emotional intensity. That's why it's called the climax. That said, I believe uh, truly in my heart that the intensity Morissette is giving us is just right. That ending is perfect, especially Morissette's Oh Will You ad lib. Going from low to high, just captivating. Judge also did a great, great job overall. To summarize everything, I feel like this duet did offer something new to my ears. A nice twist to this much covered tune. Setting aside the critiques I mentioned earlier, I also like the performance of Judge Better here in this video. So if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And tell me down below in the comment section what your thoughts are about this duet. With that, thank you all for watching and please don't forget to hit subscribe, the notification bell, watch and comment on my videos here in Max 2. Stay safe and healthy everyone. See you soon.